Thank you. Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of TechFuse Nelp and today I'm going to show you how to change the start button on Windows 10 and this will apply pretty much for all versions of Windows. Now, one thing I want to mention is this is modifying a computer because of this. I legally have to say that if anything bad happens to your computer, then it's purely on your head. Now that I legally had to say that. I also am going to tell you if you mess this up, you probably shouldn't be on a computer in the first place. And you probably should check out some cat videos, especially if you um, are people who complain about who got this video up in the first place. So why did this video happen in the first place? Well, people were searching for how to change their icon for Windows 10 in Google for whatever reason. Put this video on the front page. I don't know why. I have no control over Google. Thank you, Google. But uh, they didn't know how to read that this is changing the settings, not the icon. Derps. But um, yeah, so because to make people complain, in fact, if, if even if a person has, I figured why not do it because more people are probably wondering about it. The uh, With this program, you can do that. Now, there's two ways of really doing this, uh, but the second method is so convoluted, and I don't trust that many people who even know how to do and deal with computers would want to go through all the steps unnecessarily to go through it. Whereas this, it gives you a lot of access to a lot of things, and uh, it, it's actually a pretty cool program. Now, in case that, pro that, that company is not around, and um, whenever you're looking at this, what I would do is I'm going to have a Dropbox link on um, the description below, uh, including that company link. And all you have to do is go to the change start button on Windows, and there you go. So you you can pick whichever item you want. But in case that first one doesn't work, well. I give you a alternative. Now, what you need to do is, and I advise you to go with the first one because updates, so you can get the most modern one. I, I don't know if they're still putting them out. Uh, but as far as this one, what you need to do is, when you first open this, if you want to change the icon, select the replace icon as you see here if i unselect it it brings it back so it's not permanent but select replace start button icon and you can select the icon that you want so it's pretty simple as that now with pick the image the thing with this is is a little complex you need to have a picture 50 by 150 and you may notice well why is the thing just repeating over and over? And I'll use this one as an example. It's one I got offline. Um, there's plenty of cool, real cool icons out there. I highly suggest you check them out. But what it is, is if you take a look at them, the, uh, let's, actually, let's actually pull this one up. If you take a look at it, the icon looks like this, then when you hover over it, it changes it. And that's the entire process of this. So that's a big thing to keep in mind. I'm not sure where this last one, M maybe it's, I don't, I'm not exactly sure where this last one takes in play, but yeah. But anyways, uh, as far as that goes, um, check that out play with that uh now the size of it may be off so what you need to do is go to the start button and then go down to custom and what i would do is play with the button size i have mine on 35 i see it's not exact if i put it on zero what's going to happen is if, if we do that real quick it's going to be out of place it's going to look a lot better but it's going to be out of place because this goes outside of the borders so what i want to do is i want to go down in size to uh, about 30 
eight maybe uh, and it tested the Zax. I know I had one thirty five, but that's uh, actually not that bad. So it's about thirty eight, thirty nine, something around that, maybe even forty. But um, play with that to see what you want. One thing I will also want to mention before I head off is simply if you want to have a transparent so for example if we select that real quick we can see that we have a transparent in the background there's a couple programs that will do this go ahead and search them i got some videos on this free programs and stuff pretty cool stuff so check that stuff out um, also look for people's icons where um, it's transparent and that way you can have a cool effect like that but you can't have a, obviously a moving image so as far as that goes oh uh one thing i would also mention is whenever you first get this when you click that it's going to show a whatever you have here to fix that go to control and just for left click just say windows start menu and brings back otherwise it will have this ugly thing so we're just going to do that and it fixes that um if you're on windows 10 i'll advise checking this too and that way if you got multiple monitors the um, if you click the start on one monitor versus another it um it actually opens up on whatever monitor that you press start on but anyways as far as that goes if you have any questions or anything then please feel free to leave that in the comment section and i'll answer that as quickly as possible if this has helped you out then feel free to let me know down below in the comment section leave a like subscribe and share also check out my other videos and again this has been craig bent founder of our tech reviews nope and hope you have a great day